The default terminal is boring for Hyperland. If we are using Hyperland, we are doing it the right way. I reinstalled the entire OS, changed the terminal to Alacrity and also we are switching to ZSH. In this video, we are customizing the terminal as well as the ZSH shell. And if you enjoyed this series and if you are watching the previous videos, thank you for your support. Subscribe to the channel. The first thing I did is actually install Rufi for my system because I didn't have it. So I installed Rufi. And when the setup is really simple, we just have to install it and then change uh, this menu right here. And we will get into more customization for this in deeper into the series. So keep an eye out for that. The first thing is get into a browser and then open up oh my zsh you will find the github page right there get into the github page and well obviously install zsh first which i forgot allegedly and then after installing it now we can get on to the next steps after it is done now we have to change the shell which is really simple again uh, you can do chsh dash s and the shell command if you don't have it in this directory it should be available in just the bin slash ZSH so make sure to look out for that so after that is done if it doesn't change immediately then you may have to re-log in you can check your shell with this command and I will just re-log and then I'll get back to you in a second so after the re-log you should see a menu like this now this menu is kind of like the uh, configuration for the ZSH terminal so which uh, settings you want which um, options you want so this is really nice so you can <laughs> kind of have a setup process for for your shell now with that out of the way I just keep everything at default so you can configure however you like and I'll see you guys after this is done okay so now we are in ZSH and what we have to do is actually first install fonts so the first thing we have to do is install the Oh my god, said you can do it with wget and also curl. I'll use curl because most of the time curl is like baked into every system. So if you don't have it, this is a command to install it. Now, if it is really unlikely that you don't have it, but after curl is installed, you can just copy this command right here and then paste it into your shell. Just press enter and there we go now our shell look up looks a bit different and we are in oh my zs8 this is kind of like the default configuration now we can actually use themes which are available for oh my zs8 now i personally like to use power level 10k if you've seen my previous video i also use this exact theme but i did uh, face a bit of an issue so i did show how to fix that so i'll talk about it when it comes so the first thing is the fonts now this is the part where <laughs> yeah I actually kind of messed up so first let me show you how to install the font so you actually need these fonts so just click on all of them and it will download uh, every single font so after you have all of them downloaded you'll notice that uh, Hyperland doesn't have a uh, font manager but in, we are in Linux we don't need a font manager you can manually install it uh, we just have to copy this or move this to the fonts directory to do that so this is the command that you need so the directory is user as shares as fonts make sure you move it properly and you can just copy this command i'll put it in the description if i forget then well someone please comment it anyway after everything is moved now we have that accessible to us so what we have to do is configure alacrity the terminal we are using to actually use that font so I'll just clear everything out and then we have to make this directory right here which is the config file for alacrity and then we'll create this toml file that we need to configure alacrity and yes alacrity can be configured really customizable and I'll show you in a bit how to customize it further so what you can do is to test it we'll just type in window and then the opacity of it so just to see if this works and then after saving it if it doesn't show up immediately i just open up a new shell and as you can see the new one is actually transparent so that means that our toml file is working now we have to get into customizing it so to make the uh, shell use the font we need this is the command or this is a section that you need to be mindful of 
and to show you how this works uh, it's really simple and so this is basically what we need to customize our alacrity at least the font setup is this right here and again there is a lot to customize in alacrity it's highly customizable to customize it you can actually go to the website of alacrity tomol file and the first thing you have to note that the red color one is the table and if you have something like this which has multiple inputs you can actually call them with a dot so that's basically how to customize it. Then we can install Power Level 10K. Just click on this, click on this, and then copy this command right here <laughs> and paste it in. There we go. Now we have it installed. We just have to set it up. To set it up, it's really easy. All we have to do is just get into the ZSRC file. So the file that ZSA chooses for its configurations. And I messed up the password, obviously. So after you get in here, you can see that we have a themes folder. So just copy this one right here, so this line, and then paste it in the ZSH theme line. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I pasted it. I forgot this is not normal text editor. I really do not know of him. Anyway, after we have done like this theme right here, then we have to refresh it. So source.zsh and that's it that's about uh, how you install the power level 10k theme you can go through the process of installing or configuring it however you like and i find this really easy to set up that's why mostly i use this setup uh, instead of going the a fully manual route of configuring the message now that's about it that's basically how you install and configure oh my ZSH. but also uh, this Oh my ZSH or ZSH does use the nerd fonts which we can also install. To install it, all you have to do is type in this command right here and this will actually install the nerd fonts. So in case if you have an issue with the font, this is the fix for it. Here's a few plugins that I like to use and they are really easy to install. I'll link the website in the description below. And you can just follow along copying everything to your shell and just installing everything now we just have to edit the zsrc file and add to the plugin listing in this file right here so you can just scroll down a bit maybe it's almost like a little bit lower in the file just copy this line right here and then we can just paste it in into our config file then just save it and we have to update the zsrc So we can just type in source and this will just update our shell. And now you can see when I type, it just suggests me commands, it highlights it. And also we have this nice kind of a menu like system, which we can use. Like, again, this is just personal preference. If you do enjoy it, you can install it. If you don't, then you can leave it as is. That's basically how you install or set up, kind of configure Alacrity and ZSH and customize it this is all open this is just me doing it my way if you have another way or if you want to customize it further then you're obviously welcome this is hyperland and you can customize it however you like this is your window manager and i'll see you guys in the next one subscribe to the channel and bye